Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How do you convert files? Video files, audio files, image files? Well, today I'm going to show you a small and free program called Format Factory that can convert all three of those. Go open it up here and show you all the different features. You can download this program at formatoz.com. It's formatoz.com. I'll also give you the link in the description. Okay, so here's the program. Sometimes the window pops up. It'll automatically check for updates as soon as you open the program. There's usually plenty of updates, new file types, and plenty of other stuff. It's currently ver Format Factory version 2.20. This is the latest version for today. Now, the amazing thing about Format Factory is the amount of different file types that you can convert for video files, audio files, and image files. I'll give you a list of all the different file types in the description. You can also check them out on their website. Okay, so first of all, let's try and convert something. Let's say I want to convert this image file. Just drag it over into here. It'll come up with this menu with different file types. And you could also go here and click on settings. It gives you plain more advanced options. You can rotate it, change the actual size of the image. Let's click OK. I'll just use the uh, default settings for today. Okay, so here's our file. You could drag as many files in here as you want. Just pick the file types as you drag them in. And just click on start. Okay, so our image file is converted. You just minimize the window and this small window will pop up down here. Just, I'm sure you just saw when the files are done and it will play the small sound. Okay, so to see our file, we'll go up here and click on output folder. Okay, so here's our image file. This is the one we just converted. So, okay, so here's our image file. Just as high quality as the original file. Close that. You could also change the destination of where your files output to. All right, let's try and convert an audio file. You can just see the different options for that. So we've got my music folder. If we have any music in here right now, I'm just going to sample music. Okay, let's try this file right here. Let's drag it in. As you can see, there's many, many different file types just for audio. There's plenty of other options and settings. You can even change the volume, the bit rate, sample rate, audio channel, every, anything else you could imagine. I'll just use the default settings. Okay, well, the file is already an MP3 file. So let's try and convert it to a WAV file. Just click OK. So just click on Start like before. As you can see, it processes extremely quickly, even large files, just HD video files. Okay, so the file processing, the audio, our audio file. So let's click on Output Folder, and there's our audio file. Same, pretty much the same size as before. So just close that out. Now some other features in Format Factory go down here. You could rip video files off of DVDs, audio files off of music CDs, and multiple other options here. Go into advanced. You could also join videos and audio files together. You could also get the info on different files if you're not sure exactly what they are, not just for converting. There's other options in here. I'm not exactly sure where they are. We can add watermarks to images in Stuff like that. Just different color schemes or skins as they call them in here. Some very nice ones. We have Luna Blue, that's the default one, Aqua. Let's try these other ones. Black one. Silver one's probably my favorite. Also go to options here. 
One of the best settings I love about this program is you could tell after converting, it was going to take a long time if you had a lot of video files or extremely large HD video, let's say. Then you just want to let it run at night, but you really don't want to leave your computer on all night. There's the auto shutdown feature. Just check this box here, shut down computer after converting. Or you could also tell it, I usually like to keep this on. Open the output folder after it's done. Just recommend keep these checked. Air um, notifications if there's any problems. Because I'll minimize it to the tray after it's done converting. I'll automatically check for new versions. So I'm just going to click OK. Click on the button up here and go straight to their home page. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a free piece of software. Their site is run by ads and promotions by other com companies. Up here we have the clear list, clear buttons list. Once you're done converting, so keep things clean. Comes in many, many different languages. As you can see here, it just starts to automatically choose it. You can go into help files. And that's pretty much it. So this is Format Factory. You can download it format OZ, that's F-O-R-M-A-T, O-Z dot com. You can download it for free, check for updates and news. This has been Matthew Sabia for LockerGnome.com and YouTube.com slash LockerGnome.